using it on a very old publishing program, Printmaster Gold, which you can purchase online. I don't know if you can get the old it's one. It's called Printmaster Gold 18. Anyway, using the banner uh, part of the uh, program, I can print out a uh, anatomy drawing to the size I want to do of a human, and in this case, a cowboy. And this is what I'm basing the size of the cowboy I'm sculpting today. And what I did is I went online and on Pinterest, I typed in uh, a search for cowboy guitars. And this picture came up. And so all I did was size it to the figure that I'm sculpting, which automatically scales the uh, guitar. And so that's what I'm going to use for creating my guitar. Time to play with some clay. Well, to do the Cowboys guitar, I'm going to have to uh, start. Well, I mean, to do this Cowboy, I'm going to have to do the guitar first. Because if I don't, I won't have anything. Uh, I'm going to have to have his arms positioned correctly and all that stuff. So before I can do that, I've got to do the guitar. Does that make sense? Anyway. Got to go through my tools here and find my exacto knife. Which is probably already sitting out here. Yep, it is. All right. I'm going to take the uh, print that I made and uh, cut out the uh, guitar. All right, I cut out the uh, guitar out of the scaled photograph. It's distorted the uh, guitar itself. I'll have to adjust that as I sculpt it. I'm going to sculpt it in super sculpty clay because it's stronger and uh, not stronger, but it gets harder than uh, this uh, plastiline clay, this uh, JMAC clay that I get from Sculpture Depot. Um, but that just shows you how scaling it really makes it uh, makes a difference in as far as uh, getting it correct for uh, the size of the figure that I'm doing. All right, I'll be right back. Alright, I've uh, made an armature for the uh, this part of the uh, guitar. I don't know what they call it. Anyway, it's uh, made out of aluminum wire. Because I have to have something that will hold up to the uh, thinness of uh, that part of the uh, guitar. Guitar. I'm just waiting for the uh, Super Sculpty to warm up right now. I'm not going to have much time to sculpt today. I've only got one hour to sculpt. I got started late because I was searching the web for anything that would help me scale this uh, guitar. Now, I'm not going to do this type of guitar. Um, I'm going to do one um, with a hole in the uh, center, not with these little doodads here in the plastic uh, hand guard or whatever they call it. But it gives me an idea for the size and shape of a guitar. And I think that'll do. From everything I've seen, uh, this is a good size guitar. Or good, good uh, example of a guitar. All right, be right back. Using the old potato smasher to get the uh, clay flattened out to the right thickness. And uh, just checking on the uh, shape. Pretty 
darn good. All right. Now I'm going to have to work pretty fast because this clay stiffens up real quick. Using my ink roller to try to even out the edges. Trying to keep the uh, di thickness the same all the way across. That's not as easy as it sounds like. Didn't know you had to be a guitar maker too. <laughs> when you're a sculptor. The main thing is getting the uh, guitar the right uh, size. Okay, I'm trying to position the uh, stem, I guess it's called. I don't know. Hmm. I can't remember where they got the uh, hole at. Well, there it is. I got this picture here. You know what? I'm going to have to uh, forego doing the uh, hole in the uh, thing until I can take a look at a guitar full frontal so I can make sure I put the hole right in the right place. Oh, there we go. I got a lot of sculpting to do in this area. I have to do that tomorrow. I run out of time. It's just one of those days. But uh, I'm extremely happy the way that turned out. That turned out so much better than I thought it was going to. Um... really did it gives me something to form the cowboy around is what I'm trying to say that's needs to be flattened a little bit It don't look too bad. All right, everybody, have a great night. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.